add one more shape now, but before I do that, the same way they did the previous ones, I want to point out there's a box here on the side that allows you to enter vertex coordinates directly rather than clicking on the map. And you might find that convenient if you have, for example, a point shape file where you have the coordinates on, listed on a piece of paper and you want to enter them directly rather than clicking on the map. Well, I'm going to go and just create one more shape here the old-fashioned way. And once again, I've got snap on, so it's going to connect it directly to the previous one. And close it like that. To delete a shape, all you have to do is select it and click on the Remove Shape from Current Shape File icon. Ask you whether or not you want to do that or not, and it's gone. Adding a vertex is especially nice in Map with Node.js. All you have to do is click on the Add a Vertex to an Existing Shape, and if you move the cursor over to the edge of the, uh, the polygon you want to add the vertex to, you probably can't see it on the screen, but the um, current vertices light up in red and then the position of the new one you would add shows up on blue on the edge. And Just clicking once will put it onto the edge and you can repeat that as many times as you want when you're in add vertex mode. I'll do that one more time. Also move vertices around very easily. Just click on the uh, move an existing vertex icon and go back to the shape and the uh, existing vertices will light up in red, and when you find the one you want to move, it'll change to blue. Click on it, drag it, it'll move. And you can keep on doing that with as many of the vertices that you want to move. You can also delete vertices very easily. Just click on the Remove a Vertex icon, move to the vertex you want to delete until it turns blue, click on it, it disappears. Finally, when you're done entering the shapes on, in the shapefile layer, you can go to the attribute table editor by clicking on the table editor icon, and you can enter the attribute uh, table data for this particular shapefile.